welcome back to one of my videos and today i'm going to be giving you guys all of the answers that you guys need in order to complete the scripted quest this quest is honestly so easy you just need to put in the correct answers and you will be able to get the prize which is the bow so as you guys can see here we got the developers some of the developers we got iron claw Callan, and ice and it's kind of like this that's why it's like the scripted kind of quest you know what i mean because there are the scripters of the game so as you can see it's a scripter quiz are you smarter and talk to a scripter first before entering so let's go click on them and read their little story or their little dialogue before we jump straight into this video so it says happy new years we are the royal high scripters ice iron claw and Callan. We have a little scripting challenge for you. Answer all these questions correctly and win a special prize. Do you think you have what it takes? And of course we do, because we're gonna do this request really, really fast. Okay, just walk up straight to the door and start the quiz. So that's what we are going to do. Let's walk straight up and let's take a look at the first question. It says, what is the scripting language Roblox developers use to create games? The answer is A, Lua. And then we got the next question. It's a little simple math question, you know, what is five plus 12? That is 17. And then we got this question, another one, it's 20 divided by 10, which would be two. So that's really easy as well. And then we got this one, what are loops used for in Lua? So this one's a little bit hard and the answer is going to be C. And then we got this, another little math question and the answer is nine. And then we got some scripted questions and the answer will be A. And if this is going too fast, please slow it down. I will have the answer key at the end of the video. So what does script parent mean? It obviously means it refers to the parent of a Roblox Lua script because it says parent in the name. So that was a little bit easy. Now, the next question we have is what is property in Lua? And the answer is it is something used to describe an object such as color, size, and more. So that would be answer A. And if we continue walking, we go to the next question, which of the following are not valid objects in Roblox Lua? That would be a light trail. And then we got what does GUI stand for? It stands for uh, graphical user interface. And then we have which of the following is not a valid service in Roblox? That would be D. And then there you go. That is all of the answers. And as you guys can see right here, it says, congratulations, you've won. Ram your body into this brick to get out of here and talk to the scripters again. So basically, that is all the answers. If you would like to go back and slow it down, you're more than welcome to. However, in the next portion of the video, I'll be giving you guys the answer key so that you guys can easily just screenshot it or follow it. I will also have the answer key in my description down below. So once you get out, it says you did it. Congratulations. And you you get the Midnight Strike Popstar Astral Hairbow. So this hairbow is so stunning. So why don't we put that on right now? This actually happened to be the last piece that I needed to complete the set. So I did get a badge. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but let's put it on to match my whole outfit. So let's choose a shade of pink. <gasps> okay, I need to take off my head accessory. Oh, <gasps> oh my God, guys, look at how pretty this is. <gasps> look at the bow oh my god so you guys could see that it still has the same starry pattern and it's moving in a really really cool flowy way as does the rest of the set in the back you can see a little star and two or like well i guess four ribbons coming out in a very flowy manner to like be a little bit of a trail so this is honestly so so gorgeous make sure to do this quest really really fast this is probably i would say is the easiest quest since all you do need is the answers and if you are done with the quest and you want to go back and like have a little bit fun and try guessing the answers instead of just using an answer key to get the item i'm pretty sure you can go back into the door and you can redo it and just try to learn a few things if you would like you know i feel like that'd be kind of fun just for the learning purpose because that is basically what the quest is kind of for so you guys can go ahead and do that now i will show you the answer key right now on the screen so let's take a look at that as you guys can see here, here's the answer key that Nikki sent to me yesterday. And these are basically all of the answers that I used and did during this video. So this is all in one place. You guys can screenshot this or you could just check my description down below. Um, I do believe the 
fourth answer on here that is non-existent none of these above that is non-existent so everything is right except for that one i can post um another one right now to show you guys the actual answers but like these are all correct except the fourth one just was non-existent because when i did it it just wasn't a question i don't know so basically the first answer is lua the second is 17 the third is two the fourth is they're used to execute a price of code repetitively and the fifth one is nine sixth one is create a new part and assign it to the workplace and then we got it refers to the parent of roblox and lua script it is something used to describe an object such as color size and more and then we got light trail graphical user interface and rotation service so that is all of the answers go back into this video and like Rewatch it, slow it down if you would prefer to look at the answers that way. Or you could just screenshot this answer key so that you can just quickly like refer back to it while you do this quest. This quest is honestly so, so easy. And I really hope this video helped you out a bit just so you could have the answers. Yet again, I feel like if you want for fun, just go back and do the quiz and try to do it on your own. Because I feel like that'd be, you know, a little good experience to have because that is partially why the quiz was made how it is. Anyways, thank you guys so so much for watching this video make sure to hit that like button that subscribe button and that notification bell if you have not done so already thank you so so much nikki again for sending me the answers and all of my other friends who also sent me the answers um if you guys have not done so already make sure to check out my mini movie because um i really really worked hard on that with a lot of my friends and my family so make sure to go watch it it's a christmas mini movie that's only part one part two will be coming out soon and also speaking of videos yesterday i did post all the chest locations on the new year's realm so if you guys have not found the chest or are a little confused it's honestly a really easy guide to show you guys where all of the chests are so the link to that will probably pop up on the right side of the screen on this video sometime during this video now I'm going to play some of your fan art because I realize I have not showcased a lot of your fan art in a very, very long time since I was posting less. So I'm going to showcase some of these gorgeous pieces of art and edits right now. Thank you so, so much to all those people who did fan art. I know they are a little bit old, but if you guys ever want to share your fan art, make sure to tag me on Twitter or Instagram or join my Discord group. All links are in the description down below. Anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.